Hi, I'm Narlene Carter Keenan, and this is Dick Keenan with the Keenan Carter Group at Keller Williams Realty. And we're here today to talk to Ms. Cheryl Tolan, who is with Welcome Home Military, Military Heroes. Warriors. Heroes. Oh, oh Heroes. Warriors. Warriors works. <laughs> <laughs> and Cheryl is the founder of Welcome Home Military. Yes, she is. Heroes. Thank you. So Cheryl, tell us yes. tell us about your your uh Organization. Organization, okay. yeah. So we started in September um, 2010, so wow. it's been nine years already, hard to believe. And the very first soldier we welcomed home from deployment was Kai Lynch's son. Oh, I don't know why wow. guys knew that. So what we do, our mission is to welcome home our men and women when they return from deployment. And uh, over the years, it has grown. I mean, that's not even our single mission anymore. It's our primary mission. But we've gone to airports, train stations, bus stations. We have what we call um, home missions. So if someone comes in, say they're in the Navy, they come up from San Diego, they drive in, we'll make arrangements with the family to go to the home and surprise mm -hmm. the service member at the home with a welcome home as well. So oh, that's awesome. Wow, that's yeah. great. Awesome. That's Thank great. You. So so what else have you added to your list of things that you do? So we transitioned, we as in the beginning started getting a lot of calls for flag lines to do those at uh, veteran events. And that even transitioned into um, funerals for our veterans that have passed. We work very closely with the Honor Guard, I'm sorry, yes, with Honor Guard, but with um, the American Legion Riders mm -hmm. and the Patriot Guard Riders. And we actually work with them and provide escorts. You know, we coordinate escorts with them and provide those flag lines wow. as well. We do a lot of flag line. Wow. Events. So about how many veterans that have, that are, or military people that are, have deployed and then come back Mm -hmm. um, how often do you do you welcome home? You know, it depends. We'll go a month or two without a welcome home, and then we'll have 20 in one month. It just depends. Wow. We definitely slowed mm -hmm. down over the last few months. We mm -hmm. do anticipate those welcome homes to start coming back up again. Mm -hmm. So that's why being involved in the community with other events such as flag lines and some other of our projects that we have mm -hmm. help keep us visible in the community. So wow. Cheryl, thank you again uh, for everything the organization does. Is welcome. there anything else that you can share with us about uh, some of the missions that you guys do? Oh yes. So we do care packages. So mm -hmm. if you have a loved one um, that is serving, um, deployed in harm's way, we send care packages. We have sent about over th about 300 care packages. But the exciting news is, is Cy Tendenberg, I don't know mm -hmm. if you've heard of him, yep. yeah, uh -huh. Helping Soldiers in the Desert, uh, has joined um, with us. Oh, okay. And so that's awesome like we have our own care package department because he is absolutely amazing yeah he has sent over 22,000 mm, care packages crazy. in the last wow, 10 years awesome. so we're happy to have oh, yeah. uh, that collaboration with him we also uh, are very involved with the honor flight which is mm -hmm. a local organization that provides um, a free trip um, back to Washington DC for our World War II veterans Korean veterans and Vietnam veterans mm. And so we do the send off for those veterans and the welcome home as well. well. I've seen you out there at six o'clock in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you have. <laughs> That's the send off. That's early, yeah. and then they usually come home late. So oh. um, anyway, we um, I, I got to look at our list here because we have a whole bunch of stuff. So two years ago, we started uh, the Veteran Angel Tree Project. And that is where we take veteran families, names of veteran families that we receive that need a little extra blessing during the holidays. Mm, awesome. And so we had a business in Array Grande and one in Santa Maria that put up the, the angel tree. Yep. And then we go collect the gifts and then deliver the gifts to those oh, veteran families. That's great. And sometimes, depending on the family, we'll provide a holiday meal for them to have um, as well. Oh, cool. We have a card brigade, so if anyone, a veteran's in the hospital or needs some words of encouragement, our card brigade will send them uh, cards. Mm. Wow. We have, I gotta look at everything here. Um, oh, so the Melissa Anderson Patriot Fund. We had a young gal that was with us from the beginning. We started our group, she graduated from Cal Poly, 
and she and her brother would come and help us when we do our parades and mm -hmm. decorate. And she came down with a very rare disease and unfortunately passed away. Uh -huh. It was two years ago this February. And so we started a Melissa Anderson Patriot Fund in honor of her. And so if anyone donates to that fund, we use that fund to send a younger veteran on the honor flight with an older oh, veteran yeah. as a uh -huh. guardian. Right on. Because yeah. you know that yeah. the yeah. veterans always have a guardian on that flight. Right. right. Usually a family member, but it doesn't have to be. Usually. Yeah. And mm -hmm. there are some that don't have a family member that can go. And so we noticed a disconnect. Our son, when he came back from serving, mm -hmm. went on the flight with a Korean veteran. Mm -hmm. And there was somewhat of a disconnect in the beginning of mm -hmm. that. And by the time they were done, they were best friends. And so they're noticing, we're noticing like in a lot of the veteran organizations, um, the younger ones, the younger veterans aren't joining them. So we're trying to kind of bridge that gap between oh, the older yeah. generation the of veterans and, and yeah. the newer. Yeah. And because of the cost of being a guardian, a lot of times they can't, can't you know, afford that. Mm -hmm. So we offer us a grant to, oh. to help that younger veteran That's go great. on that flight. And then we have um, or just our community events as well. Uh, parades to, mm -hmm. to bring awareness in our community mm -hmm. about our veterans. We see at the Grover Beach Parade every year, oh, yeah. Christmas Parade. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we'll be in the Pomo uh, mm -hmm. for 4th of July. And then our really big event for the year is always the first Sunday in November. And this year will be our fifth annual veteran luncheon uh, and fundraiser. And it's completely complimentary to our veteran. It's a mm -hmm. very nice um Event. Where is it at? It's at Peacock uh, Farms okay. on uh -huh. Los Barrios Road. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right there? yeah. Mm -hmm. Great, great venue. venue. Yeah, that great is venue. a beautiful great venue. Great venue. So yeah. um, that's a really fun uh, event. I can't believe it's our fifth year this year wow. doing that. So, yeah. Wow. So those are some of the projects we do. Wow, that's awesome. That's awesome. Well, is there a way if somebody wanted to help out or be helped out, mm -hmm. what is the best way to reach you folks? They can go to our website which is Welcome Home Military Heroes mm -hmm. We're on Facebook under Welcome Home Military Heroes. Mm -hmm. We have an Instagram page, Welcome Home Military Heroes uh, as well. Cool. Wow. So, well, thank you thank for you. having me. Thank yeah. you very much for being yeah. here. Appreciate it. And you thank do you. all this and you work full time. And I work full time. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> cool. Thank you. Thank you.